Welcome to Make a Path Presents. My name's Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk the Walking Dead TV show Q&A 75. All right, so before we get into the questions, I do want to cover something I left out of the predictions video for episode 11 and 12 and 13, 14, and so on. Chances are I will touch on these topics coming up, but the one thing I want to mention is, especially for the comic viewers out there, for the comic readers who are watching a TV show, we have to keep in mind the story that's going to happen here. A lot of TV fans, a lot of TV only, especially at the end of the season, are just going to have their minds blown with something that's going to happen. But coming up, we're looking at going to a new community and then potentially another possible attack at Alexandria. That's, you know, because keep in mind, the Saviors, the, the gang that Daryl blew up, they're still out there because we saw one gang on the road that Daryl blew up and a whole different group of saviors in the woods hunting Dwight in them. And I think a lot of people are forgetting there was two different groups. Now, because they're two different groups, we know there's still a lot more bad guys out there. You know what I mean? And their leader, Negan. So we do know that depending on how they mix it up in the, from the comic to the show, we're going to get... A, possibly a second attack at Alexandria but I, and this is something I, I I was worried about if it was too rushed because we had the wolves attacking in the beginning of the season but now I'm starting to think man they could be showing us how the Alexandrians you know pre no way out dealt with an attack and then show us how the Alexandrians post no way out deal with an attack and that's because we saw the wolves and that was a slaughterhouse and now we're gonna see possibly the saviors come and the Alexandrians stick together because of coming together during no way out and fighting like gladiators out there in the middle of the street I think that's such an awesome thing before I was worried it was rushed because it's two attacks on Alexandria in one season and by two different groups you know what I mean so I'm like uh, I don't know but now I'm starting to think man I I'm liking that because we could see how they were before and how they have changed love that idea so keep in mind we're, we got the potential attack at Alexandria and then even going further beyond that we're gonna have back and forth for the rest of the season from Alexandria to uh, the new community which is called the Hilltop so that's gonna take up the rest of this season and then the introduction to the new baddies which is Negan so there's a lot going on there and there's stuff I'm leaving out especially in the predictions video because I don't want to get too spoilery because I do believe it's going to be really similar to the comic book remix. Uh, remix similar, I mean. Anyway, let's jump to these questions here. Let's Talk Dead asks, do you think Carl will end up at the sanctuary on the show? Uh, yes, I do. I think it's going to be remixed and I will say that I feel better about the scene now that he's actually older. You know what I mean? Because in the comic, Carl's like nine years old, busting off shots with <laughs> an assault rifle that's as big as him. Yeah, I think it'll look better having Carl actually able to handle an assault rifle. Moving on. <laughs> Kenny Schultz, without a notable Holly character and Francine being an extra pretty much. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of uh, an extra. Do you see them scrapping the Holly death altogether? I'm not going to go into the Holly death from the comic, but I will say for the comic readers out there, yes, they're not going to throw that away. That was absolutely awesome. You do give an example of a character who can take that death, and that is highly, you know, possible. But we will again. This is season seven, so no rushing getting to that now. <laughs> Kyle Nelson, how do you think TV show Rick will handle the kingdom when he first encounters them? Uh, you know what, I'm going to breeze over this one because again, this is uh, season 7 here, but I do believe that TV Rick, uh, depending on what happens with the hilltop, um, he will be open to a new kingdom because of the circumstances. It might be iffy because of something else, depending on how they remix it, but I do think he'll be open to it, you know? Mally Sports, do you think in a few years they could potentially have Carl become the main protagonist in the TV show? Listen, if the actor does brush up on his acting abilities, he could take over the whole franchise, absolutely. If he doesn't and he maintains, you know, a weak level of range, 
for his acting abilities, then no, no way in hell. Yeah, I love The Walking Dead, but if you got a weak lead, it, it ruins the show. The Gold Ninja. Do you think AMC has the guts to kill off Daryl at all? Yes, I absolutely do. I think a lot of fans listen to the more vocal, usually younger fans that are screaming about how I'll quit, I'll riot, and whoop de whoop And I think you really forget how rich a certain death can make companies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, this isn't a comic book. They're not gonna bring them back like, you know, Superman or Wolverine or whoever the hell else. But uh, death, if done right, especially on TV, you're gonna bring in the money like a boatload. Uh, and a lot of that too would have to come uh, by merchandise and products afterwards. I mean, you can make a killing. But yeah, I do believe, um, I do believe they have the guts to do it. And if they don't have the guts right this minute, they'll get the guts. <laughs> Random reviews, Q&A, depending on what happens in 609, do you think Morgan will ever change his rule not to kill? You know what, I think he is invested and after the wolf actually turning around somewhat, I'm seeing this more as a Morgan-Carol dynamic that's going to shift Carol's character in a new direction. And I'm not talking about all of a sudden make her the woman who loves everyone and doesn't kill. It's not at all what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something completely different but still shifting her character. Um, you know, a, a more open Carol, a more united Carol, a Carol that, a more multi-layered Carol, let's put it that way. Even though she is layered pretty damn good right now, but I'm talking about pushing the envelope with that and uh, really digging up some of the hardships she's had to face over the years. It wasn't just like, you know, uh, quiet as a church mouse and then all of a sudden, you know, Rambo killing everybody who's entering Alexandria, and then that's the end of her story. We need to look past that. How does she, you know, handle the things she has done? Maybe now she has some regrets because of a new outlook on life. Uh, Justin Prophet, if Glenn doesn't have his comic death, could he replace Maggie's Hilltop leadership? No. They've been, they've been laying the groundwork for Maggie to be a leader for two seasons now. They're not going to just all of a sudden jump ship and give it to Glenn or give it to Carol. It is absolutely possible that Maggie and Glenn end up the leaders. But guys, we're, we're pulling from, you know, seasons away. We're talking about season seven now, season eight, all, all these questions just about, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not hating on you. I'm just letting you know that's why I'm breezing through them because we're going to go in deep months from now about those topics. Andrew Spencer, Ronnie, do you think Dwight will possibly kill Daryl when he returns and take his cut? Uh, you know what? I don't believe Dwight is going to kill Daryl when he comes back. I think they're setting up, they have set up a better dynamic for that. I think killing him right now would be the cheap way. You know what I mean? They got a dynamic. They got potential there for even some comedic scenes. And I'm telling you, them arguing over the crossbow, I can't wait for it because it needs to happen. <laughs> If uh, if Daryl survives this season, that is. So no, I don't believe so. Simon Penderson. Do you think that the girl and boy we saw in 604, here is not here, could be a couple who ran away from Negan and the guy who... No, guys, no. That was 600 miles away. Moving on. The Walking Dead Central. Do you think the other half of the herd that, a that Abraham, Sasha, and Daryl took will play a part either in Season 6B or not at all in the future uh, because it gives the saviors a problem? Now, here's the thing. I've seen this comment a lot of times. Uh, I do believe that it's, it's possible. However, the saviors would never know that they did it. If the saviors showed up and were like, hey, fuck you guys for bringing all those walkers over to us, how the hell do you know it was them? <laughs> you know? And don't tell me they saw them and didn't do nothing. And now it's been weeks and they didn't do nothing. Uh, I believe that it's possible we could see something like that, but it wouldn't. Con they wouldn't connect it to you know our guys. Right now, I'm gonna say we won't even see that. But it is possible, I, I admit. Spicy onion juice. What do you think will happen to Scott? Now listen, in the comics, Scott died and they were basically at his funeral when uh, the whole Pete shit happened. Uh, obviously, he's gonna get a bigger role. Now, I would like that role to, and I'm going to sound like a dick and I don't give a fuck, but I, I, I got to speak from the heart. Uh, I want that role to have some kind of either meaning or kill the fucker off. Because if we have him just kind of lingering around not doing shit, it's going to scream nepotism, I should say. Uh, and nepotism is where, you know, you give friends and family jobs, you know, and Hollywood's full of that. And again, Sasha's, that's Sasha's husband in real life. So if they have his character just kind of chilling out on set, 
it you know it takes away from it it really does uh because you will be sitting here having discussions on the character like oh yeah this character that character and we're like well yeah that's sasha's husband he doesn't do anything on the show so they're just paying him to hang out with his wife <laughs> you know so yes i want something to happen with his character uh it doesn't even have to be major but put it in the story somehow or get rid of him uh sorry to sound harsh but you know it's a, it's a big cast we gotta trim the fat <laughs> you know not saying he's fat if, you know, his story doesn't do anything. Yeah, trim away. Nick S., do you think they'll have Negan's story all in Season 7? Uh, you're talking about everything. No, no, no way in hell. Uh, the last episode of 6, all of 7, and right now I'm going to say all of 8. Fandom reviews, do you think they will ever add a TV show or original community like Terminus into the story? I don't know if they have a reason because it's pretty big the way it is now. Crypt 2 Knight, how would you have handled the Corey situation? Looking for practicality, not story writing. Uh, listen, I'm only going to breeze over this because I, I thought about this when a lot of people were like, oh, burn them down, burn them down. And then I looked at how many walkers were there, and it's like there's no way in hell, no way in hell I would let anybody utilize fuel that we potentially could seriously need um, burning these walkers down. So I seriously would have done something similar to Rick's. Get a distraction, lure them away. Any ones that l break away from that, pick them off. Rick's plan was worked 100% if it wasn't for the wolves his plan would have been perfect so I think practically I would have went with his plan because we have limited resources limited power limited bodies to help it's just so limited you know what I mean so that's what I would have done Enoch pies I hope I said that right hey Ronnie do you think that the big swinging dick speech of Negan is going to appear in the show I think it might uh, and thank you very much Jeff Brent I want to hear your thoughts on Jesus showing up in Rick's bedroom. Like, did he just go through the drywall of the prison? How did he find Rick's house? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. How did he find Rick's house? Now, I'll be honest, I haven't been paying attention to where the prison is and where Rick is living and yada yada yada, but I will say that, fuck, how did he find his house? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no fucking clue. Shit, you tell me. Thoughts and opinions, how the hell did Jesus find Rick's house? Put those down in the comment box. The only thing I could think of is he was awake and it, what they said or what they did or how he saw, he found out it was Rick's house. Alexandria is only two streets, they are expanding, but uh, I'm saying that I think he was awake and he'd seen it somehow, you know, or heard it or something. Something had to have lead him there. Right now, I'm drawing a total blank if they... If they hinted at that, I missed it. Uh, at first I thought it was actually really cool Jesus showing up at his house, but now that I'm wondering how did he find out that was Rick's house, I'm starting to worry. <laughs> they need to cover their asses on that one. All right, that's all the questions. Listen, guys, put your questions in the comment box. Read the rules in the description if you're new for the, you know, the specific rules. But only ask questions for the TV show in this Q&A. We're not covering a comic book here. That's a different video. Uh, so put Q&A before your question. Read the other fine print in the description, and you should be good to go. This will be for the Q&A for next week. And the drawing to win the hat, the Walking Dead hat, that's coming up next week in the beginning of the week. Uh, so do not, you know, enter any more. That's done. I'm going to do the drawing Sunday night. All right, thoughts and opinions about everything we discussed down in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.